Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, time for another Stormworks C trial. Um, this is one I've missed before, so as you probably all know, I've done pretty much every single creation from Spiders Workshop. Um, but I was out in this vessel with a friend the other day and I, I realized I'd better do a C trial on it. So it's the MPV Palace Mark III. Um, as you can see here, it's kind of loosely based on this research vessel of the Canadian Coast Guard. I'm going to bring it up um, because I love ones that are built on uh, kind of based on some kind of real vessel. So we can see it here. It's a real cute little vessel with loads going on. So you've got an aft kind of gantry crane. Uh, you've got a little um, kind of extra control station here or kind of wheelhouse for crane, I guess, and the deck equipment a rib and it's it's tiny it's really short um nice little cute vessel um so that's the real one uh it's got a pretty deep you know tugboat type um hull there so it's pretty interesting and there's even some drawings which you can get of it um as you can see very beamy um for its length um probably not that comfortable uh, from a naval architect's point of view um you can see here that it's a primarily multi-purpose vessel suited for ship towing and equipment delivery. So uh, a friend of mine and I were doing some towing missions and I thought this was a perfect vessel. So let's see what it looks like um, in the game. We'll get our sea trial started. So there she is. I'm just going to make sure I load um, the original one from the workshop. Um, yeah, so you can see very beamy um, and it's got this kind of blunt bow and it's got a lot going on in it for such a small vessel so you've got a pretty useful working deck there with this crane with lights on it um, you've got a fully usable rib with a very easy to launch um, derrick system and if we look into the bowels of it we can see there's a kind of crew room here fuel tank um, this could be potentially lng powered in real life um, I do have access to a 3D model of a research vessel in Germany that's got a big tank like that in it. Normally, if it was um, heavy fuel oil, um, you'd just have that in the double bottom. So it's unusual to have an extra tank like that. But um, typical spiders creation, nice and frame rate friendly. It's got the cargo space at the back here, engine room, and um, a lot of space for equipment and these kind of things. I can see that probably... If I pull out from this a little bit, grab my thing there. So there are, um, there's a sort of triage and triage and medical room here. There's more crew sleeping quarters. And then there's kind of equipment rooms and flare rooms and all sorts of stuff going on there. So let's just spawn her in. Um, yeah, get this performance warning, but all spiders creations are very frame rate, frame rate friendly or sim rate friendly, and you can use them in multiplayer. Um, let's just hit home key there and we'll fly on to the aft deck and start our tour. So, yeah, aft deck, um, large uh, gantry crane here, um, which you can control with these things here. So we can um, extend this A-frame down like that for lower towing center of gravity, I think, uh, or just to have your um, kind of winching gear over the, the, the aft or you can bring it forward. Um, you've got crane, very powerful crane lights there. So if you're bringing stuff up, recovering stuff from the seabed, um, that would work. I'm not too sure because it, of its buoyancy being kind of limited by its size, what kind of size of thing you could pick up from the seabed, but I plan to do some kind of seabed recovery. Um, the spider added this recently, as I read in his description or their description. Um, so you've got this extra... Uh, winch here so you can bring this out further and then you've just got a normal kind of rope or cable to attach um, I did notice in multiplayer and this is just stormwork physics that this if you go too fast this thing just starts to spin around and go crazy that's just the game physics um, I think it was because I've got adaptive physics on so as I came close to the shore the physics level probably was reduced and it um, started going nuts but I slowed down and that helped it um, Depth here, so yeah, this is clearly for recovering things from the seabed as well as towing. Uh, or you can tow, ah, probably you would just use that winch for towing actually off the deck like that. Um, yeah, you've got the cargo hatch, like a lot of spiders uh, creation, so you can pick up containers or whatever you get from the depths and hide them down there and tie them or lash them to the plentiful rope anchors around the vessel. 
Um, you've got a bunch of storage lockers here, so there's pretty much everything I could think of on this vessel to do any kind of mission here. So you've got ropes and cables, flare guns, radio, transponders, loads of firefighting equipment um, for those kind of missions where you're just going on um, on foot to do firefighting. Um, there's probably access to machinery spaces, we'll come back to that. Again, lots of spiders creations have this large cargo door. So again, you can haul cargo in here, automatic lights, loads of equipment here, as you can see, for a variety of different types of missions. Um, this, a lot of the vessels do kind of flood if you've got following seas and you've got that big door open, um, but they all have automatic draining as far as I remember. And uh, that's what that is there. Um, and these are sort of, um, yeah, flare launches that you can grab and take outside. I'm not too sure what kind of mission you'd need that many in, but um, it's pretty cool to have them. Uh, so you can basically go in there and grab these and manually take them out. Um, let's close this and work our way through the vessel inside first. So main deck, um, and then you've got your hospital or medical area here with loads of supplies to um, treat people. Crew cabins, I think left and right there. Uh, a crew mess, no galley as such, um, but you can certainly have a bunch of people that you've rescued, have them here sitting and watching what's going on outside. Access to the bow. Uh, so I've dropped down here and this will go into the lower deck. So let's just go with that. Uh, we're now in the, the lower deck and these are these two big tanks. Um, looks like they're piped in, so probably are the main fuel tanks. It's got a good range, this vessel. Um, could be, you know, LNG in the fantasy world. You've got the nice uh, Lua display of the engines in here, so they're not running just now. Um, and then we've got what looks like nice medium size modular engines or that is that the large cylinder size could be the large cylinder size um, so two modular engines they're customized for this vessel um, all of this stuff is on by default and we can see here our batteries running down slowly because of the lights we've got on and nothing's turned on here we've got some nice observation monitors there again compartment um, water level in case you hit some rocks and you want to it will automatically level as far as I understood or try to suck out um, any water through that fluid port probably somewhere in the floor um, yeah and then it takes us there's no engine control room on the vessel this size uh, it takes us into the rear compartment again this is this cargo space that we've looked at from the main deck um, so here we go this is this emergency escape uh, I like that spider builds these in quite realistic um, yeah so let's go up to the next deck so this is the bridge deck um, so we've got this nice mezzanine level here you can look down onto that um, crane the real one as you remember did have um, this kind of extended right back this little um, con I guess it's the crane control area or basically something so extended back but for various reasons um, probably the accessibility to this um, that's been changed in the design so we've got this very nice very easy to use um, dig dinghy or rig launching system and this is spiders I think it's spiders ribs is very easy to use very simple small compact rib um, nice decoration here very uh, nice kind of funnel here with all this sort of venting on it actually potentially even a working heat sink which is pretty cool um, fire extinguishing box so it's nice it's encapsulated in this red box so you know where to get your uh, equipment uh, kind of would have expected hose in there but that's cool uh, around to the main deck and you've got uh, the access to the bow again and then these nice storage lockers in here as well so super useful you know loads of equipment lying around when you're doing multiplayer missions it's super good to just be able to grab stuff easily so we've got a bow connector here and uh, that'll help us magnetize onto other things for towing potentially uh, let's go into the bridge so the one thing I noticed is it's kind of two-player focused I would say um, it could do with another seat in here it's easy to add that of course just go into the, the workbench um, we've got the standard spider um, 
cockpit, I say standard, but basically if you're in any of the spider's creations, you'll figure out how to use them pretty quickly. So we'll start the engine. So I've got the lovely modular engine sound. It, it tick over is actually quite nice, but once you rev it up, it just sounds like a lawnmower, unfortunately. Um, we've got our lighting here. So this is this um, configurable system here where you can basically click. So um, let's just have nav on uh, so you can see something. Observation monitors on, controllable searchlight, heaters, um, all of these kind of typical light controls. We've got the nice set of information about the water level. See if we're flooding. Um, you can see there we're charging now our batteries. No, they're still running down. That's because there's more bridge systems running. Quite interesting. This is a, a game balancing kind of issue, I think, in Stormworks that you know generators run down pretty quickly. Something we did notice when using this is if you have those heaters on, you'll see that this uh, makes a huge difference to the speed that the batteries are going down on. And as far as I understand, the generators will kick in um, as soon as this the battery level goes beyond a certain level. So it seems like in Stormworks, uh, many of you will know this, of course, that the batteries are kind of underpowered or they you can see we've already lost one bar uh, from our batteries there with these systems on. Something I'd like to come back to um, is that whole you know energy consumption stuff. I think there's some really cool stuff I can do with industry around uh, energy consumption on vessels and show people how that works. So engine is on, uh, that's our autopilot. Yeah, and Spider's system, it has changed in some of the latest creations, but basically your engine is on and running and your propellers are disconnected by default. If you hit that clutch button, it will directly engage the propellers. Um, yeah, and I'm not too sure about really big ships, but you know, as soon as you hit forward on the controls of vessels, it kind of engages the clutch. Um, so that's fine for me. And you can also see there on the left hand side, we've got the clutch on the number three key and five and six, which is again, standard for a lot of uh, spiders creation. So I'm just gonna hit five and tap it, speed up in a somewhat sort of realistic speed. So spiders got some very fast vessels, you know, for search and rescue, if you really just wanna get across the map quickly. Um, the palace is a more sedate uh, vessel you'll see. Um, it's made for towing um, and it's a little bit more realistic in that sense. So if I just give it a bit more power, let's just give it full power. So we can hear the lawnmower engines kicking in. Um, and at 100% you'll see that it'll do about 35 knots. Um, we did make a very interesting observation, so you can see there now the batteries are charging. Um, when I had the heaters on, I think, oh, battery's still charging. Uh, we made this observation that when we had the heaters on, um, at some point it just started to slow down. So it got, went down to about 29 knots, and then when we turned the heaters off, yeah, still charging. Uh, when we turned the heaters off, um, basically it came up to full speed again. So I think it was either a cooling issue or um, turning the generators on and having additional load on the main engines. Uh, I'm not too sure, but pretty interesting uh, that all this stuff is connected. So we've got there nice weather forecasting, range. You can see you can make it to the Arctic easily, especially by slow down. So let's just take it down to about 75%. Or 80, let's say, nice cruise. Um, you've got all your gauges here for, for engine. It's everything you'd really need uh, in this small vessel. Um, radio, autopilot. Um, you've actually got the nice dynamic positioning system and you've got manual thrusters here. So if you want to bring her in very precisely next to another vessel, uh, it's very easy to do that for towing and tying things up. Uh, something that's kind of pretty unique to Stormworks that you can pull up next to another vessel and uh, attach a rope to it on the side so you don't drift away and jump onto it, fix something, and then even move it round to the back of the vessel using the same rope. Put that rope onto your winch and then tore back to port. I think that's uh, amazing that all that stuff is possible. Uh, I'm just going to turn off my nav lights. It's annoying. You don't need them on uh, during the day. Uh, what else have I got on here? 
uh, ram and anchor. All right. So you don't have your lights on during the day typically because uh, nobody can see them. Yeah, so let's start this, the sea trial. So she's pootling along here nicely. And usually I just put the wind up to 50%. Let some waves build up. Um, I did read it has an automatic stabilization system, but I think usually Spider sort of tunes that so that you get a realistic um, behavior. So you can see there, she is rolling with the waves. Um, she's broad, so she will, would have a lot of um, sort of inherent stability because of that beam. Um, but for me, it's not like rock solid, so she's actually moving around in quite a realistic way. You can see there the dynamic positioning thrusters, um, and I think the fins there, yeah, you can just about make out the fins left and right of the dynamic positioning thrusters on that keel, which are doing our stability. Um, we'll bring her into wind. So, yeah nice realistic kind of movements she's not jumping out of the water you can see she's quite deep like the real one i'll just give her full beans yeah so for me that's nice semi-realistic behavior which is, is good i just don't like the ones that kind of fly across the waves too much um but yeah as i said you wouldn't have her probably at full blast in any kind of weather so she's pretty good there i'm going to do my turn uh, so she's got a nice slow, again, semi-realistic turn speed. Just do the half turn so you get an idea there. Um, so yeah, um, pretty good to maneuver around. It's got four rudders there, which gives us that performance. Uh, in real life, probably just one. Um, but that's giving us, you know, in-game maneuverability. Um, let's put her up to full storm. So, no real problems with tipping over because of the windage. Um, still able to hold this course quite well. She's not being pushed off course. So she's handling very well, like, like I'd expect from Spider's creations. Um, a little bit of, tiny bit of heel, but I think that stability system is maybe kicking in. So there's a bit of heel there from the wind. That's quite nice. So stability system not too um, let's say unrealistic, it's not turned up too high or it's just tuned quite nice. And then, yeah, she can batter through the waves pretty well. She's uh, but pretty more stable than I'd expect into the waves like this. Um, let's just slow her down a little bit more. Do about just under 20 knots. It's kind of a it's, you definitely slow down into the wind. Let's bring it down to about 15. Yeah, so she looks pretty good if you do a realistic speed. Uh, again, you can play Stormworks realistic speed like this, which is, boats are very slow, as we all know. Um, and now she's moving in a, in a more realistic way. She's pitching into those waves. You're getting some of those kind of hydrodynamic forces. Most vessels, of course, you go in full speed the thrust just kind of supersedes any kind of hydrodynamic force you're getting from the waves in this game. That's just the way the physics works. So full speed is effectively kind of planing over the waves, which is not really what would happen. So if you want that more realistic feeling, you can slow her right down like that and have her bob and pitch in the waves, which I find quite nice. The other thing is you probably have an amazing range at that. So yeah 185 300 so we've got a pretty good range at that um i can't remember what else i'm doing in the sea trials right now but very nice realistic little boat not super fast um it's got everything you need for firefighting repairing um diving i think um deep sea recovery um yeah um good all-rounder and built you know for multiplayer with the exception of maybe needing another seat here which I can easily add into that space here I think or maybe even against the wall uh, or here actually would be nice just have another little seat for a co-pilot um, but great little vessel so the last thing I do let's just bring the wind back to something like that 
So we'll get in the captain's seat, turn on those normal navigation lights again. Um, bridge lights on, instrument lights on, bridge light mode dark, deck lights on, main search light on, search lights on. Um, so, and then we go to nighttime. Now it's the last part of my sea trials, as I remember. See what she looks like. So, again, Stormworks vessels just look great with the massive search lights. Uh, can kind of dazzle you actually, even on the monitor. And we get nice working lights on the deck uh, with that nice kind of yellowy color and more nice de deck lights around so good visibility so i'm just slowed it right down almost to a realistic speed what's that 13 knots yeah that's probably what this thing would do in real life and let's just give it a look around and enjoy the ambience so we've got this nice deck lighting around here just enough to see go down to our working deck We've got these big uh, searchlights uh, off the back for the crane. And if that last part of the sea trial I'll do because she's got it, I guess we'll go in here. And to use the DP system, this I'll just use this as, a, as an excuse. Um, slow right down, so I've just hit six until the throttle is near zero. And then you hit the clutch. Um, the clutch has to be on and then your DP system will now try to keep on station. And there is a tip in the description, so you'll see that the DP is using electrical power to effectively run these thrusters. So you need to throttle her up a bit. I think it's actually saying like, you need her on like full um, in strong winds. So this is charging at that. Let's just put her on strong winds. This is a good test. Um, so full wind and you can see there the battery is going down very slightly so what I'm going to do is just go all the way up full power you can see there okay it's going up so is she holding her course I'm not too sure I think you do see this on this screen here. So it looks like she can hold her station in 100% uh, wind. Uh, I've done station keeping for uh, helicopters before. They do it kind of through scripting. This dynamic positioning thing is using thrusters to keep on station. It looks to me like it's able to keep its, if you look at these X, Y coordinates here, that she's pretty much keeping her position uh, is moving around very slightly, but that could be the rolling. If we put it back to something more realistic, like a 70% wind. She's keeping her position very well. So that's interesting. I didn't know that trick that you increase the throttle um, and basically that will stop you from losing battery power. So I love that these systems are connected in Stormworks. That's one of the coolest things about the game. Um, we've got main generator, auxiliary generator. I think that's the two engines which are down. I didn't see an additional engine anywhere on the vessel. So it's basically your, your port and starboard engines, which are be diesel electric kind of system. And you can see there, I'm just gonna drop this back and see when that battery starts draining again. Yeah, we can back right off in 70% wind. There you go. It's just tipped below. So that's something to watch if you're using this dynamic positioning, um, that you've got the engines running at enough speed. Um, we can see here 647 RPM. We can see here, I, I don't know what this refers to. It's not RPM. It's a slightly different value. Um, but basically, as you can see here, it's keeping our batteries topped up. Um, if I go external, we'll probably see maybe these little propellers moving underneath the vessel, keeping her on station. It'll be mostly the forward aft thrusters. Yeah, you can see the, the bubbles coming off those two thrusters just uh, next to the lights underwater. And that's what's pushing forward against the wind. So that dynamic positioning system, super important. Just see like a nice hole in the front here. I'll have to investigate that. If you want to do any kind of operations, uh, let's just do that actually, uh, off the back of this vessel. So it's windy, it's horrible. 
Um, let's detach that and then just simulate something here. So extend the A crane and then let's drop down the winch. Crane locked. All right, crane locked means it's locked into position. So yeah, what you'd probably do here is depth is 60 meters um, and you'd get the cable length. Oh, seems to be in different units. Um, and let's go and sit on a seat. Let's just go to the captain's one and see if we can uh, see if that cable is going down and what it's doing on the seabed. So there we go, cable is maybe right down on the seabed. It has gone back a little bit, but this is where your dynamic positioning is going to be important. So if you're doing anything on the seabed, diving, whatever, you want that to be in position, basically anchored in place, and that's what dynamic positioning systems do. So absolutely awesome that that works in Stormworks, that you can do that. So this is just a little vessel, um, but very good for deep sea recovery. I think I'm going to go and do a deep sea recovery mission now. Uh, that's all from me. That is the, what's it called? MVP Palace from Spider. Uh, Spider's creation. Just subscribe to all of them. They're all brilliant. They're really useful. Really good for, for playing this game without having to build complex vessels. Spider's done all the work for you. Um, and you can just have fun. Uh, instead of using it as a building game, as a sea simulation, search and rescue, uh, all sorts of things. Uh, that's all from me. I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one.